A complementary color scheme is one in which the two colors that you use are on opposite ends of the color wheel. Now this app that I'm showing you right now is color.adobe.com. It's a really great website that's created by Adobe that can help you with your color schemes. Over in the left hand panel here you can choose a color rule such as the ones we've talked about, monochromatic and analogous. And now let's look at complementary. So it's giving us two colors that are on opposite ends of the color wheel, red and green, but watch what happens when we click and we move this color wheel around. We can get some other complementary color schemes that can be used in your design. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? What's also really helpful is that it gives you the number and the RGB of these colors. So when you're choosing these specific colors in Photoshop, it's really easy to bring them up. Just make a note of the uh, color number or the RGBs. And then when you're, when you're selecting your colors using the color picker, you can either type in that number here or you can type in the appropriate numbers for RGB. That's red, green, and blue. That's the way colors are mixed for the screen. Okay, so complementary color schemes. Complementary color schemes are really bold. They tend to be really kind of like dramatic and kind of get your attention. And I find them to be really effective. Here's a, an example of a complementary color scheme. You have a reddish orange color and a bluish cyan color. And if you look up red orange, uh, you see that it's exactly opposite on the color wheel from bluish cyan. So how can we then make our own complementary color schemes? Well, I think the easiest way to do this is using um, the gradient map. I'm going to go down to the bottom of my layer palette to the adjustment layer icon, the little circle that's light gray on one side, dark gray on the other. I'm going to select my gradient map. And the gradient map only works if you have a, uh, a design that has a lot of different values in it. Now I'm going to choose a complementary color scheme to get started that's red and green. Now this is not a good design because the red and the green are nearly identical in terms of value. So I'm going to darken the red a whole lot, which is a really, really dark red, nearly black. And then I'm going to lighten the green. Now this is a color scheme that's starting to work. You have not only complementary colors, but values that are on really opposite ends of the value spectrum, dark and light. Now we can see what this color scheme is going to look like using different colors, but keeping the hues the same using the hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to drag my hue saturation adjustment layer and watch as it shows me different color schemes all within the complementary color rule. So we can do the same thing if we're working with a photo. I'm going to add the gradient map adjustment layer to this photo and again, I'm going to choose two colors that are opposite ends of the color wheel, red and green. And then I'm going to change my red so that it's a really, really dark red. And then I'll change my green so that it's a really, really light green. And now I'm going to get out my hue saturation and move the slider around until I find a color scheme that I really like.
Now I'm noticing that it's a little bit washed out. So I can always go back to my gradient map and choose a red that maybe is a little bit more vibrant, maybe not so washed out, and maybe a green that's also a little bit more vibrant green. And then that's going to affect the colors that are given in hue saturation. So now we're getting that yellow and purple and that magenta and cyan green. Alrighty, have fun with this.